Hello and welcome. My name is Sonia Kirchner from A Power Free Confidence Coaching, Resilience Building and Mind Freedom. I'm here to talk to you briefly about the difference between personal development and professional skills development. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I work with so many women on uh, becoming the leaders they want to be within their roles, their profession, their careers. And um, as soon as we start talking about the things they are doing, they want to be doing, most women bring up uh, that they have something they call the personal development plan in place which they are pursuing and hoping that that plan will help them to become the leaders they want to be. There's one slight problem that as soon as we start exploring what the plan actually entails, 99 times of 100 the plan is based on professional skills improvement so what women can do which skills they need to obtain which skills they need to improve in order to make them better in the transactional part of the work rather than the leaders they want to be the the way they want to feel the way they present themselves and as a result the way people pick them up on a conscious but also unconscious level. So what I'm saying is that most women are trying to become more confident in the way they present themselves and the way they present their work and as a result they want to be better communicators, they want to be better negotiators, they want to present the work they do more confidently, they want to get in the buy-in from um, the superiors and from the organizations, but what they are actually focused on are the improvement of their skills. The things they are doing in order to get to the point where they have a piece of work ready to be presented. So rather than focusing on improving the way they feel about themselves, most women run the risk of actually focusing on the things most women are already pretty good at anyway. Um, how do I write analytical report? How do I write strategies? Rather than how do I present confidently and how do I feel good in my own skin and how do I feel worthy of my success and how do I feel worthy of my place around this table which may or may not be dominated by men. So these are the issues I wanted to I wanted to address briefly with you. Are you making the same mistake of interchanging personal development with professional skills development and should you be looking at things from a different perspective? Is improving your professional skills only a way to hide from things which would really have an impact on how you feel about yourself, the way you feel in your own skin, whether you feel worth the success. I wanted to encourage you to think about these things and to see whether for yourself, whether you are the 99 of the 100 I've mentioned and if you are not, how you can even improve your personal development plan in, more, in order to make it a real personal development plan rather than a professional skills plan. If you happen to be one of the 99 women of the 100 who thinks that she's working on her confidence and the self-worth and um, the self-belief by focusing on improving her skills, think about what you could do to start focusing on feeling worth, start believing in yourself, start feeling confident. And you will notice very quickly that professional development from personal development do differ. And coaching, for instance, will help you to build a personal development part of your experience, obviously by supporting you with the professional experience. But there are different things you can do for yourself and this, this video is really just to encourage you to find out for yourself what is the ratio between my 
personal development plan and the things I've got on here versus my professional skills development plan and the things I said I would do in this relation. And I hope you find the right balance for yourself. Thank you and feel free to comment below. I would be happy to go into any questions you may have. Thank you and bye for now.